New Hampshire. What's up everybody? Um, sorry, I have not been vlogging. I think one of my last videos I said that I wasn't sure if I wanted to anymore. And then I've been hiking with people and I don't like to vlog when I'm like around people, um, especially hiking. So like, I just haven't been, but today's day 30. I just crossed into New Hampshire, which is super exciting. And uh, I get to Gorham tomorrow. So yeah, the last few days I've been like in Andover at the cabin for two nights. And then I was immediately at the, what was it? Sudbury Inn in Bethel for two nights. Last night was my second night back out on trail. Uh, out of Bethel, I hiked up Old Spec and down the Mahusik Arm, which wasn't really hard at all. Um, stayed at a tent site at the bottom of the arm the next morning. So yesterday, I went through Mahusik Notch, which was fun um, and enjoyable. I have been hiking with Stickman the last two days out of Bethel. Um, yesterday we also did all the Goose Mountains. Uh, and like I said today, crossed into New Hampshire, which is super exciting. Right now I'm climbing up Mount Success. I'm feeling pretty fatigued, it's hot. Um, plan is to go 10 miles today to Trident Coal campsite and then get to Gorham Route 2 tomorrow. 10 miles today, 7 miles tomorrow. I currently have a bunk reserved at the Libby House and Barn Hostel, but I've heard not great things about the barn and I was already hesitant about it anyway. So I might cancel that and just get a room at the Quality Inn in town um and be a little bougie but uh then after gorham i enter the whites officially with the climb up mount mariah so i don't plan to zero in gorham my group is going to be we've already split up a little bit but we're going to be splitting up even more through the whites i think just because like if any of us want a chance whatsoever to work for stay we can't all be traveling together, but, uh, yeah, it's been a good few days. Like I said, sorry, I haven't vlogged. Hopefully leaving Gorham, at least I'll start doing dailies again since I'll probably be back to hiking solo for a while. Um, so we'll see how things pan out, but I'll uh, try to show you some more stuff today. I'm hiking with Stick Man, but also solo because he's hiking ahead and then just waiting for me at the spots. So, might have more opportunity to vlog today. See ya. So, trail lately has been pretty rugged and tough. Um, lots of mud bogs. I've heard people falling in waist deep. So far, I haven't gone in more than ankle deep. Um, lots of rocks, boulder scrambles, slippery bog boards. Uh, we got like four inches of rain a few nights ago when I was in Bethel zeroing. Um, so everything has just been wet, sloppy. Um, last night, I discovered my sleeping pad must have a slow leak or something because it loses air throughout the night. Never fully deflates, but um, yeah, just enough to like, I don't even want to say that it wakes me up. It just like is enough for me to notice when I do wake up in the night that like it's squishier than normal. So last night I had to blow up my air mattress back to full capacity, like twice um 
and my catadine bag also has a hole in it. Just a very, very small like pinhole. It doesn't affect my ability to collect or filter water. But when I get to Gorham, I think I might have to figure out the sleeping pad situation and see if I can find the hole and repair it. Um, my hope is that tonight it will be fine and it was just like maybe how I had the valve closed or something. But yeah, Southern Maine kicked my butt and New Hampshire has not improved yet. <laughs> this stretch between Full Goose Shelter and Gentian Pond Shelter, which I'm yet to get to, is supposed to be pretty like difficult though. So I'm hoping after I get to Gentian Pond Shelter today that the terrain will improve and I can move a little quicker, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. But yeah, here's like some of the mud situation that we have to deal with. My feet are just constantly wet and muddy. I think I'm gonna have to pre-wash my socks in the sink before I do laundry in Gorham. But that's it for now. Just wanted to show you some of the trail while well, I gave you some more info about what's been going on the last few days. See ya. All right, so I think I went over it already, but this is the summit of Mount Success. I had at least four bugs fly up my nose. Lots of mud bogs. Didn't go in more than the top of my foot, but still my feet are muddy and wet. I wouldn't be mad if there was like a nice stream or creek to walk through at some point to try to clean out my shoes and feet, but I fear that I may just be walking through mud constantly for the whole day because I just had some more and there's more to come. Okay, I don't want to say it too loud, but the trail has improved significantly and consistently. There's been no more bogs, no bog boards, no giant rocks and roots. I was hoping this was going to happen. I don't remember if I said this. It, I think I did. I was hoping this was going to happen as I approached Gentian Pond Shelter, which is like half a mile away. And so far, so good. I hope this trend continues. This is like the worst type of mud I've had so far, but there's actually like steps. There's like brand new, I think they're called water bars that have been dug. And it's honestly been a little glorious. And while I could go a little bit cruisier on this type of terrain, I kind of just want to enjoy it also. But anyway, I'm five miles in for the day, going about 10 point something, maybe 10.7, somewhere around there. So halfway done. Um, I think I just have like a couple puds left. Um, pointless ups and downs for those of you who are unfamiliar with the term pud. But uh, yeah, it's 11.45. So I'm not like in any rush or anything to get this last five miles done. Just going to take my time. Stickman waited for me. Um, near the summit of Mount Success, but yeah, I've been hiking with him and like around people for a lot of days in a row, so I'm happy to be hiking alone right now, 
Um, I'm very introverted, so I just need my days alone. Um, I've got service hiking right now too, so I've been also looking at booking the quality in for Gorham instead of staying at the barn because I have heard not great things. But it's like 150 bucks, which is definitely a splurge, but it would be nice given my social battery has run to its limit. It would be nice to have like my own private room where I can just like spread out. I haven't had a private room since um when did I have a private room last? I forget. So it would be nice. I think I'll do it. Okay, see you later. All right, this is Upper Gentian Pond. There's a nice breeze here. So I'm gonna stand here, maybe find a rock to sit on, have a little break for some food and water and to enjoy the breeze and the view. Welp, I went in. I was trying to get around a mud pit on the side and uh, it was sloped and I slipped. My whole body went down and then my shoes went in the mud that I was trying to avoid. <laughs> Love that for me. <clears throat> All right, so I am 1.3 from camp. It just started raining, um, but my weather app says it's supposed to stop within like a half an hour or so and then be nice the rest of the day. So um, I'm not gonna rush to get to camp because I'm not gonna set up my tent until it's done raining. But uh, yeah, I'm just on like my last long downhill right now. I have a little small ascent up to camp and um, then I'll be there. It's only 10 to three right now. So I'll be there plenty of time. Like I'll be there before, before four for sure, probably by 3.30 or so. Um, I had some really good service at the top of the last climb that I just did. So I decided to book a hotel room for Gorham. Um, it's definitely more money than like staying at the hostel. The hostel, you know, was like $35 for a bed or something, $5 for laundry, free shuttle to and from trail. But um, I figured let's celebrate finishing Maine. I saved a lot of money. So I might as well treat myself. I don't foresee that I'll be all the on trail all the way to Georgia anyway. I have enough money saved to get me to Georgia. So that means I can just reallocate the money and spend more um, and kind of platinum blaze a little bit more um, while I am on trail. So I got a room at the Top Notch Inn. It's in downtown Gorham. It's like walking distance to a bunch of stuff, most of the things that I need. It says they do laundry there, so hoping that I can either do my own laundry or pay to have it done. Um, otherwise, I'll go to a laundromat. Um, my plan is to either try to hitch from Route 2 into town, or there's a shuttle driver named Ziggy that maybe I can call and get a ride from him. Um, a free ride would be better than a paid ride, so I'm spending more on a room, but we will see what the situation is. They're supposedly self-service there, so um, I'll just call someone when I get there if the hitch isn't going well, or maybe like, I don't know if Uber's a thing or not, but 
yes, I'm excited for that. Um, I haven't seen anyone in my group in a while, but that's all right. We're all headed to the same place tonight. Uh, there's a cool pond here. Uh, the ponds don't end in Maine, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna put my phone away. I'm gonna keep hiking and hopefully I'll check in at camp. Um, I got intel that the water source is there is good and it will be a good stream for me to wash my dirty legs off on. So excited for that.